Nice new arrival. Storm. BSS one one two five one four six. It's the post nineteen forty five version of the Storm Cardiff. And that was installed with my Sophonic shanks. And you can see there are a fair few differences with this one compared to the old one. And for a start, I have actually redesigned the fulcrum better. So it goes down that perfect length. And I've redesigned the top of the bell, made it thicker build, so yeah. It's pretty good, but there is one problem with the system, and I haven't even flushed it the first time yet. But as the flight valve is failing, you'll soon work out why it works this time. You can hear it hissing non-stop. Set the water level too low in it. Here's the shanks. Now let's give it a go. Okay, so that's the first time it's brushed on the original level. Pulled it about six times and nothing happened. So yeah, system view time now. That's broken. It's a bit easier to remove than the other one. And so you can hold the bell up and then the thing will come out like this. That's how it comes out. Here's the imprint on it 721B. But it doesn't have car on either side. I mean, this clearly is the Cardiff model, but this is a newer one. So, yeah, so there are Cardiff systems in RF Ridgewell. So I know exactly what system this is. Number here, 146-2G. It's got 2G written on the lid or in the system, then it's a storm system. Or if it's got 3G, 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 2G, it's storm. And unlike my old Storm, this was a painted model, just a pronged and painted one. Now, let's go in the system. And just as I predicted, water level is far too low. Well, it's not as bad as what the Victoria and Earl Sun was like. Oh, Earl Sun. The ball needs replacing, sadly, that's broken around the side. Inflow. 
Not, not looking too bad. I'm pretty sure that is the original part one float valve. It's been Jason's WR version or something, but yeah. Very rusty inside. It's all coming away. But yeah, let's give it a flush. I've come to think that it must be a replacement for the valve because the original manufacturers from the set water level this low. Here it is failing its full glory. Okay, it actually does shut off almost completely, but it still drips. And that'll still be dripping out of the overflow if that was in use as it is. So it's at the water by now. Still dripping. Fit the other villain is still and see how it goes. Okay, so here's the bell. As you can see down there, it's got a little hole to stop it from rumbling violently at the bottom of the system. That needs quite a bit of cleaning up. And here's the tea green bell, which I'm going to put in and see how it works. There's a bit of erosion on the left side of the bell, so. Here's the standpipe. The old storm I had would go straight up and then have a little bit like this. So this looks like the, the better version. So I'm going to put this in the system, see how it goes. It's a much heavier bell, but for some reason it wasn't flushing properly with my tea green system. So that's a pass, so far, it didn't slam right down like this, it went like that, which is how it's supposed to go. So I'm going to put the lid on and see how, how it flushes normally. Okay, so the tea green bell is in here now, and as you can see, it doesn't hit the bottom of the system like it did in the tea green one, so that's how it's supposed to go. But the old bell did the same thing, it didn't hit the bottom of the system, so that's encouraging. So let's give it a go. And it flushes better as well, so... Looks like this is the one to go with. Okay, so it doesn't pass this test. Oh, he does this test. I 
clean up both barrels, like I say, and I'll give it a go when it's done.